Hi friends, my name is Kaylani and I work with the Bookmobile with the Tillamook County Library. And today I will be sharing three books with you about the beginning of winter. First up, we have Grandmother Winter by Phyllis Root. Grandmother Winter lives all alone with her snow white flock of geese. All spring, Grandmother herds her geese as they gabble and squawk, honk and hiss, flapping a storm of feathers. Look at all those feathers. They're everywhere. <laughs> all through the summer, Grandmother gathers the feathers, soft as snowflakes, bright as the winter moon. They do look soft, don't they? Come autumn, Grandmother sews on her quilt, stitch by stitch, stuffing it full of feathers. Doesn't that look soft and warm? Look at that. When the days burn down toward the longest night, Grandmother shakes her feather quilt. Flake by flake, the snow begins to fall. When Grandmother shakes her quilt, children come running from their homes, catching snowflakes cold on their tongue. Grown-ups build their wood piles high and scurry for sweaters and mittens and skis. When grandmother shakes her feather quilt, cardinals and chickadees fluff themselves up against the cold. Snowshoe hares and weasels put on their coats of white. Look, you can almost barely see them. <laughs> When grandmother shakes her feather quilt, earthworms tunnel deep in the dirt. Brown bats hang head down, bundled in blankets of wings. Under leaves and in hollow logs, morning cloak butterflies sleep. There's the butterflies sleeping and the earthworms and the little bats. <laughs> Below the milky ice of the pond, pickerel frogs and painted turtles bury themselves in the mud. Minnows and sunfish slowly swim. Look at that cute little frog already under there, huh? When grandmother shakes her feather quilt, bull snakes coil in old woodchuck dens. In prairie mounds and clumps of weeds, jumping mice wrap their tails around and close their eyes. There they are, little mice. There's the bull snakes, all coiled up, cozy. When grandmother shakes her quilt, black bears yawn and burrow into hillside dens. Children pull off boots and coats, tumble into bed to be tucked in. All night they will dream of flying over hills and making angel wings in the snow. Look at those guys, look at them sleeping. They have little kitties here sleeping in the bed with them. <laughs> Grandmother gives her feather quilt one last shake, blows out the candle, and climbs into bed. The wind in the pine sings, shush, shush. What does Grandmother Winter do then? Under her quilt, thick as snowfall, warm as a flock of geese, Grandmother Winter sleeps while the days drift down like feathers. And grandmother's geese, what will they do? There she is sleeping. Heads tucked under wings, they will wait until spring to gabble and squawk, honk and hiss, flapping a new storm of feathers. The end. I love that one. Wasn't that good? Okay, next up we have another great one. Well, they're all great, of course. Winter Dance by Marion Dane Bauer. A single snowflake floats through the air, spins, leaps, settles on the nose of a fine red fox. Winter is coming, says the fox. What should I do? I can tell you what to do, says a woolly caterpillar. Wrap yourself in a shiny chrysalis so you'll wake to a butterfly spring and the woolly caterpillar crawls away to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I'm not meant to fly. Oh, 
I can tell you what to do, a turtle calls. Tip your tail to the sky and swim down, down, down to bury yourself in the slick, cool mud. And the turtle does just that. <laughs> there he goes. That won't do for me, says the fox. Mud is much too muddy. <laughs> Let me tell you what to do, whispers a bat. Zig and zag and swoop into a cave. Then hang by your toes and go to sleep. And the bat does just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. My toes would get tired. Plop, an acorn drops from a tree. <laughs> right on his head. <laughs> I can tell you what to do, chatters a squirrel. Gather, gather, gather. Then quick, quick, hide everything away. And he scampers off to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I don't even like acorns. <laughs> we'll tell you what to do, geese honk from the sky. Flap your wings and fly away to warm days and silky soft nights. That does sound pretty nice, huh? <laughs> and going, going, gone. The geese do, do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I belong here in the forest. A snowshoe hare hops by in his new winter coat. I can tell you what to do, he says. Turn yourself white to match the snow. And the snowshoe hare, who has done just that, disappears into the whitening world. Can you see him? He's right there. There's his little eyes. You see him? He's barely there. That won't do for me, says the red fox. I love my red fur. I can tell you exactly what to do, says a great black bear. Curl beneath the roots of a toppled balsam tree and tuck all your growls away. And the great black bear does just that. That won't do for me at all, says the fox. I'm not a bit sleepy. Hush, the wind sighs. Hush. The fox lies down on the forest floor and puts his nose between his paws. The sun slides down the blue bowl of the sky. Hush, the wind says again. The fox hushes. More snowflakes land on his nose. And then a whistle. Soft, soft. A white-tipped tail. Golden eyes. I can tell you what to do, says a fine red fox, bowing low. When a million snowflakes fill the air, twirling, tumbling, spinning, waltzing, you and I join them. Of course, says the fox, standing tall, because that's what we find red foxes do in winter. We dance. The end. Look, there they are all cuddled up together. Isn't that a nice ending? I love that ending. Okay, last but not least, we have First Snow by Peter McCarthy. Okay. From the windows, Sancho and his sisters could see that their special visitor had finally arrived. He had traveled from far away all by himself. Say hello to your cousin Pedro, says their mother. Hello, Pedro, said Sancho, Bella, Lola, Ava, and Maria. It's starting to snow, Pedro, said Sancho. I have never seen snow. I don't think I will like it, said Pedro. Why not? Because it's cold, and I don't like cold. <laughs> Wake up, Pedro. Sancho, Bella, Lola, Ava, and Maria were excited. It had snowed all night long. Put on your boots. Put on your coat. Put on your hat and mittens. We are going outside. <laughs> Look at them all getting ready. <laughs> it is cold, says Pedro. 
<laughs> you have to move around to stay warm, said Sancho. We are making snow angels, said Be Bella, Lola, Ava, and Maria. You make one too, Pedro. I don't want to lie down in the snow. It's cold. Just then the neighborhood children came by. This is my cousin Pedro, said Sancho. He has never seen snow before. Hello, Pedro, they all said. Look at all of their friends. Aren't they cute? They all have their sleds and their hats on. Isn't it wonderful how the snowflakes float around, said Abby. You can even catch them on your tongue. It tastes good. It tastes cold, says Pedro. Hey, Pedro, grab a sled, said Henry. We're going up to the top of the big hill. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Why do you go up, asked Pedro. To go back down, said Henry. <laughs> Who out there loves sledding? I love sledding. So fun. From the top of the hill, the children could see the whole world below. You go first, Pedro, said, said Henry. Oh, no, not me. Bridget and I will go first, said Chloe. Down went Chloe. Down went Bridget. Look at them go. <laughs> Zooming down first, huh? Then everybody went. Pedro too. Look at them all. <laughs> Everybody's going. Whoa, yelled Pedro. Watch out, yelled Sancho. Over a bump and into the air, Pedro flew. Thump, bump, thump. He went into the snowbank at the bottom of the hill. Oh, no. How do you like the snow now, Pedro? Asked Sancho. I love the snow. Maybe you would like the snow in the shape of a ball? Asked Sancho. I think we know where this is going. For the rest of the day, Pedro did not feel cold at all. Look at them all having a snowball fight. <laughs> the end. I hope you like those stories, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this wonderful little story time, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!